Welcome to Water. I'm glad Fox you guys didn't just see what was happening. <laughs> oh my it's really good. goodness, we are mixing it up today. We got balloons. We got balloons. What? Why? Come on now, listen, everybody. Today is Water Box's birthday. Woo! Yes. Very special day. Woo! Come on now. Happy birthday. <sighs> and because of this exciting day, mm -hmm. it's time for a giveaway. Yes. Listen. We want you we're to. We're going to give you the gift. For we're going to. We're actually going to give you a gift. That's right? how nice we are. So we're going to be giving away a Cube Ten, uh, two of them, one on Facebook, one on YouTube. So if you're watching on either one, mm -hmm. um, we need you to share and comment. Happy birthday, Waterbox. Give us some love. Give so us some share love. the yeah. share the video and then comment Happy birthday, Waterbox. Uh, and what we'll do is on YouTube, we will post in the comments uh, like an hour after the show, mm -hmm. the winner to contact us, and then we'll message on Facebook the winner. So yeah, love it, love it, love it. So who doesn't want a cue? Dude, come on, man, it's his birthday. So again, share the stream, comment happy birthday, mm -hmm. water box, and you could win a cube. Ten. Ten. Woo yes. So All right. also because of the festivities, one day only. Uh -oh. We are going to offer 10% off all Frag series. Oh, no, right. no, 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 no. One day only. One day. I love That's that week. series. It's a birthday. One day is week. Let's go the whole month. No. Come on. Oh. Come on. Yeah. Come on. That's all a better, right. I like that. That's a better birthday present. Let's give them 10% off the Frag series all month long. It's a birthday so month. So it gives everybody a chance to get one. Wow. We're going to celebrate all month long. Wow. Dude, Eric is going to be pissed. Oh, okay. yes, <laughs> she is. <So. laughs> <laughs> all right, so Rich is, Rich is given 10% off all month long on the Frag Series. If you've been interested in getting one. And that goes for anybody. You can go through our retailer network. You can go through the online yep. e-com if you'd like. Yep. And yep. Uh, get one on it. Yes, yeah, so your on. dealer, your local retailer, you can go to them, and they will do Absolutely. the price on it and get it in for you. And Absolutely. these are all in stock, so all the Love Frag that. Series, um, good to go. So Yes. So, also... Jam-packed show. I can't. I can't tell you guys enough of all the stuff that we're going to talk about today. Lots to cover. So we got ORA sent us a shipment of yes. clownfish. We Clown also time. we're going to give you an update on our cube battle that everybody's been asking about. So yep. we're going to show you that and kind of show you what the tanks look like at the mm -hmm. end of the show today. We've got fish of the week. We've got birthday. I mean, we got it's so much discounts. We got giveaways. <laughs> this is wow. awesome. It's a wonderful. Listen, Wednesday. it's the favorite day of the week. So. But first, let's go with ORA. Let's start there. Yep. Our boy Jordan hooked us up. Yeah, so it's, an, it's clown time for yep. the anemone build we've been doing mm -hmm. on the Marine 35.1. And wanted to do something really cool with it mm -hmm. versus what we've just done with like the normal clowns mm -hmm. and uh, mm -hmm. stuff like that. So we did pink skunk clowns. Mm. One of my favorites. Yes, and they don't get a lot of attention. A lot of people probably haven't seen them too much mm -hmm. or used in tanks, um, but these are one of the ones that you can actually do in groups, and they're happy. You can have a lot of them in a smaller mm -hmm. space, mm -hmm. and they just love having a tank maxed out of an enemy. Yes, mm -hmm. and from ORA is full um, aquaculture of the clowns. So yes. They hooked us up and sent us some beautiful clowns. There. Yes, and actually they, we, we shot a video, which we're going to show you in just a second, but man, look, they, they even hooked this up here. They, look at our this sweet was in the box. when we opened it up. Yeah, got a nice little wow, a little from. message from ORA showing some love. Yeah, so the box did arrive early, so we got them opened up and acclimating so yes. that we are ready to put them in. Um, and we have video of that, and we also have uh, slides on. Yeah, so let's shoot the, let's go to the video. Let's try that first. Everybody. So UPS just dropped off our shipment from ORA. They have sent us our skunk clowns for our enemy build. Came with the uh, next day air, and we're gonna open them up and give you a sneak peek. So these guys are packed in styrofoam cooler and sent by next day air so that they get here early in the morning. Oh, little squishy clown. Hello, water box. Facebook and water box from everyone at ORA. Got some ORA love here. So we're doing pink skunk clowns for our anemone build, the Marine 35.1 that we've been doing. And these guys are awesome because they are super peaceful and you can actually do them in groups. And with those big anemones, they're gonna be so happy. Look at those guys. You see the label on them. We're gonna actually get these guys out 
work on acclimating them. We're gonna put them in a bucket and drip acclimate them so that they're used to the temperature, salinity, and all the differences in our tank versus uh, ORA's water. ORA is probably like the best of your aquaculture clowns. So these are gonna be beautiful in there and they're gonna be all happy together in a big group. Dude, awesome. Yeah. I love the way that they send fish through the mail. I yeah. mean, it's really, it's, it's really interesting. I mean, a lot of times when I tell boxes. people that fish are sent through the mail, they're yeah. like, what? Yeah, yeah and they're, sh they're shipped <laughs> all over. Ship fish? Yeah. yeah. Yes. They gotta get here somehow, right? Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. So, I mean, the ORA, just the whole, or, the whole what they do there with mm -hmm. aquaculture and all is just tremendous, tremendous operation that they're running here in Florida. Yeah. Um, we have some slides. Um, but let but look okay, up. so here's the Marine 35.1. You guys haven't seen it since last week when we moved the anemones over. Needless to say, they wow. are extremely happy um, and huge. Um, it, it is going to be a clown paradise. They're going to be so happy. Um, so it is looking good and it is ready for some Dude, some yeah, so you're drip, drip acclimating there. So yep. it's the Marine 35.1 that we're putting all of this in. Mm -hmm. um, and we've got our slides uh, for ORA. Yeah, so let's hit the slides. Stay with it. Bam! Pink skunk clown! Come on now. There it is. That's the fish up close. I, I kind of like them. I mean, when you see these things actually in the tank, they, they just get so close together. They get like real. They almost like, like kind of ball, ball together up. when they swim. Yeah. And I like it because when people, you talk about, okay, I'm putting clownfish in with my enemies, mm -hmm. they always think of the regular oscillators, the perculas, like mm -hmm. Nemo, um, and you don't see these nearly as often, and having a group of them in a tank with anemones is just really a, an interesting sight. Yeah. Um, so it's fun to do something unique with this tank. Absolutely. So ORA, a little bit of a picture of the facility there, bam, look at that. It is a it is a cool place, I've been there before. It mm -hmm. is awesome, because they do fish, they do coral, they do inverts, um, The uh, but they're the largest. Yeah. The Dude, largest marine ornamental hatchery in North America. Um, yeah, and, very you know, impressive. they've got the most beautiful mm -hmm. stuff. So. And there are fish you can find them pretty much at any retailer across the country. I mean, oh, yeah. I mean they're just everywhere. So. It's a great way to go and picking out your fish or your corals to go with ORA stuff because it is all captive bred. Mm -hmm. Yep. That's mm -hmm. a big deal. And they've yeah. expanded. They've they've added so much to what they actually aquaculture now. So mm -hmm. they have a little bit of everything, gobies and blennies and clownfish. Mm -hmm. um, different inverts and macro algaes and stuff. So pretty much a little bit of everything, which yeah. is great. So we got a lot of people here on the stream on uh, YouTube and Facebook. Everybody's commenting, happy birthday, Waterbox. I'm sure they want to win the Cube 10. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so Once again, share, comment. Mm -hmm. Happy birthday, Waterbox. We're giving away a Cube 10 probably about one hour after the show ends. We'll post the winner. Yeah. Um, and we just got to contact us and we'll get it sent right out to you. So I think it's time to get those clownfish into the They're tank. They're Let's go get them. Let's do it. And we're going to do a little slip and slide action. <laughs> and people are going to go, what is that? <laughs> oh, I'm, about to show you. I'm about to show you. You're going to blow your mind. <laughs> now, come on now. <laughs> you ever seen a fish go down a slip and slide? They're about to. <laughs> and it's going to be awesome. So we got the tank here. Everything's Dude, looking awesome. The size of these NEMS is just incredible. And they do even actually, as the day goes on, get bigger. Like yes. towards the, like, the end of the day when the light's been all day, they are even larger than they are now. Mm. Um, so figure like they're finished acclimating. We can kind of talk about the tank a little bit. It's been um, running since last week. We moved the anemones over, been feeding them, making mm. sure that the water uh, quality is good, put some snails and crabs in. And we also got the protein skimmer running. Uh, since I wasn't running last week because of the bacteria, we do have that dialed in um, and running now. So the great thing about this is even though it's a small system, because we have the NIOS 120 on here, it is able to handle bio load of like an 80-gallon yeah. tank. Um, so we're going to be adding a pretty good amount of fish in here, but the tank can handle it because it's got the full sump. It's got the full-size protein skimmer. It's got the ATO, you know, all those features. It's going to keep it running a lot better than a normal, like, mm -hmm. nano-type system would run. Mm -hmm. So we actually have quite a good amount of skunks to go in here. Good. And it. it's going to be awesome. And like you said, we've got slip and slide. Slip and slide. So people are like, what is that? So we're going to try <laughs> something. Listen, I was on YouTube, and I was checking out, I think it was Mark Levinson. And he, he did this thing where he took the same type of clowns, 
and he <coughs> was able to put an acrylic tube into the tank, and that way the fish swam right into the anemone. Now, he had a lot larger tank, but... Five. And it is, in theory, like, uh, with, like getting a clownfish to go into an enemy, it's not automatic. So right. sometimes you have to, like, kind of put them in a cage near it or mm -hmm. introduce them right to the anemone or feed them near the anemone to get them going. Especially aquaculture, they haven't yeah. lived in an anemone. So this is hopefully going to help us shortcut them yeah. and to go live in the anemone right away. So what I did is I actually took the torque reactor body... <laughs> Uh, and I took the top and the bottom <laughs> off to get me a nice cylinder. Slip and slide. A little slip and slide. So I thought... It's a Nio slip and slide. It's a Nio, Nio slip, slip and slide. slide. They probably don't even realize that there's another use for We have our clowns in this. the bucket here. Yeah, so you want to get the clown. Let me see if I can... We can stop that, probably that acclimation. I'll take the acclimation off. But... So it's a really neat... So what's going to happen is... Let me see if it works, but... It yeah. should. So in theory is we're going to put that kind of like right over the tentacles so that they kind of almost have to go right into it and it introduces them to it um, kind of instantly. Yeah, you can and see them in the bucket there. They're doing really great. The fish are in the bucket. They've been acclimating. They've been acclimating. It's hard to see a little bit, but too dark. That's okay. All right. Let's try this, Jess, and see if... Let's see how well our idea goes. This is interesting. I've goes. never seen this before. Yeah. I wanted to see if we can uh, make this a little bit more fun. Huh? Now see, he's in the tube. You gotta go down, buddy. He's the one already kind of rubbing in. He's like, ooh. <laughs> Come on down into it. There you go. Home. Oh, he's like seeking. Hmm. Okay. It's kind of working. <laughs> 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 we can try it here. Let's try it go like this. Well, I feel like they're actually are hanging in it, right? Well, they're, they're, I mean, the they're also in. new, so I mean, they're gonna be a little bit shy just being in a new tank but I think this is going to kind of at least put them in the right direction versus hiding under the rock right away come on guys go 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 come on eventually swim there, down. You go. there you go swim down look at him it it actually works it does <laughs> go back to it go back to it come on buddy swim down swim down to your friends Nothing else, even if it gets a couple of them going in faster. Mm hmm Go. There he goes. Go. I'm going to throw some more in there. Maybe they'll help. Oh, there he oh. goes. Yeah. See Look that? at him. There it goes. Yeah, because usually if you put them in, they would be darting right under a rock. And these guys are actually at least seeing the anemone and kind of rubbing on them. Mm-hmm. Very cool. I think it is helping. So cool trick for those uh, mm -hmm. they are introducing. Going yeah, let's go on this side, Jess. On this one, let's see if we can get in there. Swim down. Look at that! Right into the. Because uh, clownfish do have to build up an immunity to mm -hmm. uh, the sting of an anemone. So if they're not used to that one, they do have to actually rub it a little bit before they can spend. You got some more. A period of time, yeah. Got one rogue one trying to keep away. Alright. This is kind of cool, guys. I mean, I think it's kind of an interesting way to do it. The clownfish slip and slide. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. Yeah, let's them know that this is where you belong, right inside that net. And these anemones are so big that there's going to be plenty of room for all of these to. Mm -hmm. I have one that does not want to get into the net. Very cool. Okay. There we go. Love it. All right, last two coming right here. Last two. Here we go. Let's put them in this one. So how many actually end up staying in the anemones? Well, a couple of them are hanging in there. Alex is asking how much this exact setup is. Uh, with all the equipment and everything. Mm -hmm. Well, oh. with the well, yeah, I guess, but I would say mainly the plus edition. Uh, the thirty-five point one plus. I think it's like twelve hundred bucks, right? Yeah, right around eleven hundred. Eleven hundred ninety-nine, I think, 99, I think with yeah. the light or mm -hmm. something, right around there. The tank by itself, without the plus edition, I believe, is eight forty-nine. So we have a couple of them staying in the enemies. The rest are hiding, but at least they've kind of been introduced to it. It was worth trying. It's um, worth it worth a shot. You and know. you know they're new into a tank, so they're probably a little scared anyway. But 
Um, so this is going to be pretty full with the clowns, but that's all we're putting in here for that's fish. That's it. And we're going to let the anemones grow and split, yeah. and then it's just going to be just filled with the pink skunks and um, anemones. Might even try and find a couple different colored varieties mm -hmm. to mix in there. So it's yeah, we'll give some updates on this. This would be a good shot just to put on there, like a static thing oh, yeah. to kind of show. You know, the just fish check inside. in on every so often and mm -hmm. see them all running around the anemone once they get right. settled in. But I'm telling you guys, this tank, the 35.1, it's 18 by 18, the dimensions of it. Unbelievable, This, you know, what you get for such a small tank. Because it comes with the stand, the sump, the plumbing. I mean, you throw the, the plus edition on there, yeah. this thing's ready to rock. It's great for beginners or experts. Yeah. I mean, if you want to just get into a reef ready tank, yeah. it's great. If you've been doing it a long time and you want a nano aquarium with a sump, it's a perfect option. Perfect. Yeah, and for the perfect. nano group, you can do so much more with it and yeah. have more equipment. So and Love still it. keep it a small size. So yeah. that's gonna be really cool. We'll have to check in once they. Yeah. Now we're gonna have to show you guys the update on the cube battle. Uh oh. Come on now. Dun, now listen, dun, I'm a little dun. concerned. I'm a little concerned, Jess, because something wrong. Well, what happened is. The tanks have been really clear. They cleared up really nice. They did. And I came in, uh, it was yesterday, I think, and I was like, man, there's like these little things like in the sand. Hmm. And I was like, uh, okay, this is a little weird. So then we came you in. You got some sort of odd growth happening? Or? Something. I don't know what it is. Have you put anything weird in your tank? I haven't touched it. So okay. I'm a little concerned. And so I came in this morning and they got bigger. And it seems to be like, coming out of the sand, whatever this is. Ooh. So I need to kind of, I need to really show <laughs> you guys what this is. I, Cause I have no idea what it is. I literally, I got a book uh, to try to figure, figure it out. out. You're, gonna, you're gonna ensure, you know, are you just ensuring that we're gonna win? Is this what's happening? I'm not <laughs> saying that, but you know. I you mean, haven't tuned into the Q battle, you should. It's on Friday. Can you switch the um, camera back? Yeah. Like Let me see. Here. Just double click right here. So. Just hit switch, right? If you guys haven't watched it yet, every Friday we're doing okay. a 20 cube battle. So and we had in. our round one last week, which was yeah. kind of the intro. So this is Rich's tank, right? This is Rich's masterpiece. Natural. Natural look. looking. Natural Going sand. Easy. Yeah. I notice there's a little, little, uh, little haze, haze. little haze on the glass. That's okay. Just a little maintenance. All right, it's not time. It's not time. It's about. That was on Friday. But look at this guy. I don't understand. This is what's mind-boggling to me. Look at this. What is that growing in my sand? Some kind of like <laughs> see that on the camera? Lime algae or something? Dude, I don't know what this is. I know what it is. That, Dean, your tank's trying to turn into a freshwater tank. <laughs> <laughs> it's not, it's not it's revolting against the salt water you put into it. So, <laughs> and here's the crazy thing, guys. When I go onto my 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 AI app here, and I uh, turn the lights off. Let me see here. Hold on a second. Hold on, let me see. Uh, hold on a second. I gotta get to the different Wi-Fi. So again, guys, if you guys tune in every Friday, which will be going live again this Friday, we're doing a Just 20 show your battle. Tank there too. We're do having a lot of fun with it. It's we're basically set up three 20 gallon plus editions. We got my uh, We're going head tank. to head. We're all doing our own different kind of style. So mine is. Um, if you haven't checked out, but didn't see the first round, is black sand, black rock. This is a blackout rock. Um, which I think is not quite available yet. Saltwateraquarium.com hooked me up on this. Um, and got the branchy kind of shelf look, full black. Um, and we'll have to be able to tell what we're doing with it if you watch on Friday. Um, we'll be telling what our theme and kind of what we're doing with the tanks are on Friday. So just kind of look in. But now on so Friday, we'll be adding what to the tank, Jess? Friday will be fish and possibly some inverts. Um, and with our rules on the okay. contest is that is done so at one a, of our local retail stores. So we're going to go and pick out fish a closer look and at. add them um, on Friday and kind of go over what we're doing with the tanks, mm -hmm. you know, what the last week has been up to with them. And we're also going to let them know kind of our theme and what we're doing with each tank. So guys, so I'm, literally I got this book, Reef Invertebrate book, right? It's kind of showing like all the different stuffed. I'm trying to figure out what the heck these things are in my sand. But here's the crazy thing. I mean, literally, when I shut the light out, hold on. Oh my God. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> they glow in the dark. I don't think algae is supposed to glow. 
I don't think it what the works heck? that what the way. Heck? What is this? I've never seen I know any you're not supposed to help me algae. in my thing, but I'm like, something, something's happening. Jeff Kennedy knows what it is. <laughs> <laughs> so, I don't know, guys. I'm just saying, I got to look into this, but. Something weird's going yeah, on. Something you better get, you better get it fixed up for Friday your or you're going down. Your tank's going a little crazy. That's <sighs> so, that was the little so, update on the cube battle. So, tune in on Friday at noon for round two of our cube battle. Mm -hmm. So we'll be doing, mm -hmm. adding some fish. We'll go over kind of what we're doing the tanks, you know, what's been going on for the last week. Um, so that'll be a good one. Definitely check it out and mm -hmm. we'll be live on that. Mm -hmm. It's also almost that special time, Keenan. <laughs> <laughs> he's getting busy. Keenan, he, he's, he's all over the place He can't tonight. give up. <laughs> He is all this is over a jam the place. Show. Jam There's a lot show, of jam. Too much going on. Yeah, yeah, I think you need three people controlling <laughs> this one. <laughs> all right. It's time for Fish of the Week. <laughs> Come on now, listen. You okay? I, Are you it okay? didn't work. It didn't work. <laughs> oh, it's <no>. okay. <laughs> listen. All right, so. We move on. It's live. Next. <laughs> it's the Bellus Angelfish. I picked it this time because we are yes. going with fish that you can actually keep in a tank. So, yeah, yeah. Great. Right. Because of Rich's Jess suggestion. Jess is taking over. Rich is like, hey, listen, I think Jess probably should pick it out. <laughs> you know. So this you can actually keep in an aquarium, um, a usual aquarium. The Bellus Angel is part of the Genicanthus family, which mm. is actually one of the only reef safe groups of angelfish. Mm -hmm. um, so they're going to go in a reef tank, be perfectly peaceful. They're not going to nip at your coral. Um, but like these guys, they do get bigger. Mm -hmm. So you're looking at about 125 gallon uh, tank size and up for these guys. So mm -hmm. one of our pro models or peninsulas would be perfect for them. But you don't want to put them in a small tank. Uh, they can be kept in pairs. Also, they can be in harems. Hmm. So oh, the wow. male will keep his color a lot better if he's got a lady around. I want to get wow. I want to get a pair of these for the Pro 230 we got out in the lobby. Yes, that would yes. be hot. Yeah, Bellas are beautiful. There's quite a few in the Genicanthus that are just awesome, awesome mm -hmm. angels. So yep. pretty easy to keep in general. Love it. Uh, peaceful. Love it. So we need to recap everything today because it is our birthday. Mm -hmm. So it is. 10% off all frag systems. Throw that back up there. Yeah, from now until the end of the month. Yes. Yeah. Not I just can't one believe day. that Rich is For doing whole this, month but of literally, May. the entire month, 10% off frag series. And this is going for any retailer in the US, any online guys, mm -hmm. they are, they are, they're gonna be offering this. Yep. So I need to let them know. One of my favorite water list. box systems. I think they're they're just really great. It's and wonderful. we're running the sale for the whole month of May. Wonderful. Also, guys, we want you to comment "Happy Birthday Water Box." We are giving away a free ten cube today. One to YouTube, one to Facebook. Hop on that. Um, Share the stream. Ora Say happy hooked birthday. us up. The battle is Friday. And O M G. Oh, look at happy that! Happy birthday, water wow. box. Wow! Look at this. It's a fish cake. Fish cake. <laughs> fish and coral cake. Beautiful fish Works coral, of course. Great. Wow. All right, Rich. Happy I think, birthday. I think you, you do should do the honors for us. All right. Well. No. No, we, no one needs that. <laughs> Nobody needs that. That's all right. Let's just so, all, right. all right. Go ahead. All right. Hey. Oh. I was a little concerned because I wasn't involved in this, but oh. those were going to be the trick candles. Oh, I thought maybe, no, just maybe. That. <laughs> I mean, you know, it is a little smoky in here. <laughs> We're going to set off an alarm. <laughs> All right, dude. <laughs> <laughs> All right, should I take this one away? No. Oh, my God. All right. Okay. All right. Here it is. All right. Eyes are burning. <laughs> Get the oh fire extinguisher. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. It's, <laughs> it's lit again. <laughs> oh. oh, my God. Oh my! Oh, oh yeah! Oh, snap! Oh, snap. They, are. Oh, they are. Snap! They are trick candles. Oh, trick they knew candles. It. And oh, we're gonna have sprinklers going off shortly, so we're gonna have to do something about this. Guys, stay tuned. Yeah. Friday, the battle continues. Round two. Thank you so much for tuning in today. Thank you. Bye.